Super Typhoon Mawar moving west-northwest toward Guam. Yeah, this is definitely a powerful typhoon that's uh, making its approach toward the island. And we're talking about a Category 2 typhoon. storm to hit Guam in years. Toppled trees and crushed cars, the Category 4 typhoon unleashing winds up to 150 miles per hour. The only thing that was stuck in my head at the time was how the house was doing. and. I thought the house would still be standing, but yeah, I was wrong. Man. This this storm did a did a pretty good number on us. It was just so fast. Just, when the roof took off, we didn't think. Yeah. We said just get back in the house, everybody, and let's. They went to grab a few things when it collapsed. We stay in a thin roof, house, and all of a sudden it's happening like typhoon over. All the houses like you don't see like the bad thing is. Everything is gone. Even my clothes, my electronics gadget, even my TV wrap, everything is gone. It was really hard to go through this all by myself with three little girls. I mean, they were scared. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't know what to do. They couldn't help me. They were way too young. and. I mean, in their mind, they just thought that we were gonna lose our whole house. We have both boys next to each other. So one of them, his own room took off. Yeah. So that caused the flood, the damages. So the only way to get at the water, we had to drill the wall to make the water go out from the rooms because it just, it just stayed there. One was really sad. Actually, both. Um, it's just uh, for my daughter to witness it and her having to go through the flooding as well and helping out, and for that. It was something that I will always remember as well, for her to go through that, and also my family as well. Sometimes it takes forever, and you're thinking, what are the months going to get here? They'll be um, pay tight, um, and then we will regret asking for the kids to get here. Number one, what was the extent of damage that each family has gone through, right? Uh, did they have some significant property damage and loss um, or major, right? Meaning losing a roof or losing a home, right? And so we were able to gather that information so that uh, our leadership can determine what it is that we can do to assist most especially the, the, the hardest hit Family. For the week following the storm, it had provided lunch to all the associates. But even better, they provided dinner for all of us. So before we went home, they would provide dinner platters for all of us. And being alone and taking care of three young girls it was such a blessing. I didn't have to worry about what I was going to cook. When I got home, I didn't have to worry about waiting in long lines to get something to eat. It was such an amazing gesture and it's probably what I appreciated the most out of it. They gave me a $2,000 grant aid, they call it. That's the good thing, AKN. You know, they looking after that, you know, they give you like support their employee. That's why I'm really blessed. I work at AK. I'm really thankful. So with the grant aid, I, I am very thankful and appreciative of HK, AK, and Toyota for um, approving me of that grant aid, especially due to, I, I'm pretty much still on my um, three month probation for Avis, you know, and seeing how much they were, they were willing to help uh, in this disaster. And this, this company is, um, 
It's really good, man. So we received, um, what is it called, the hardship, that two fifty each. That helped us a lot, especially with um, right after the typhoon. You know, the gas lines, um, the ATMs were down. So thank you to the leadership for supporting these phenomenal employees. Thank you, AK, for giving me a support, especially the grant aid and allowing me to work at your company. And my Padisha family, and the LK, AK family, and Escape family. Thank you very much for giving the opportunity. We are grateful for the donations of chainsaws and generators that came from our colleagues in Saipan. It makes me proud to represent a brand like Toyota. Their contribution to make, make sure we all had some assistance to help us get back on our feet speaks volume of who they are as a partner and how much they value us and the livelihood of our community. Thank you, Thank you Toyota. Thank you, AK.